We're here as part of the Ancient Southwest Texas Project, which is a program through Texas State University that's been going on for about eight years or more now. Uh, we've been working on several sites out here, both doing archaeological research and working toward preserving those sites, and doing all this work in collaboration with, with grad students and undergraduate students, allowing them to get experience outside the classroom and participate in collaborating on actual archaeological research. To be able to really understand the question, the type of question that we ask in archaeology, and how we can apply these not only to the sites that we're currently working on, but how they apply to other sites and other broader questions. Questions like this about uh, the earliest hunter-gatherers in, in the Americas go toward understanding bigger picture questions about the initial colonization of the Americas by humans. It gives you a chance to put into practice the skills that you learn in the classroom, but also a chance to uh, develop your leadership skills, to tackle challenging logistical problems, to get out of the ordinary and to uh, do something different, and it's an experience that not a lot of other people have. It's a rare opportunity to be able to come out, um, especially before starting school, and have an opportunity to work with these professors and students. I think, I think Texas State will provide the exact graduate experience I want, which is why I waited so long to find the right place. <laughs> Being given the opportunity by Texas State to be able to publish and present before even finishing my undergraduate degree is a little intimidating, but the Texas State staff's really great. It's a pretty exceptional experience. One of the exciting things to me about our approach to this site, which has been investigated previously, is that we're bringing some new and innovative technologies to bear on the deposits that are here. Uh, one of the things that we're doing is photo modeling a lot of the uh, excavation and a lot of the stratigraphy that we're seeing. Texas State's gotten me the opportunity to work with Structure from Motion technology, which my end goal is to try to take the 3D models that we have coming out of these sites and put them into a virtual reality so you can actually use that as a teaching method in a classroom to take somebody to a site. We're truly talking about a different world. Uh, the landscape around us is, is different. The plants and animals that would have been present on that landscape are different. Um, so all of that is toward answering some of the big picture questions about human evolution and the occupation of the, uh, the new world in general by modern humans.